Hi everyone, Hermano here. Welcome again to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to install Solus on VirtualBox. Solus is a Linux distribution based in Ireland and is actually the distribution which developed the budget desktop. So today I'm going to install it in VirtualBox so that you can play around with it and install the guest additions on it so that we can test it. So let's get started. First thing you would do is to go to the Solus website at getsolus.us and click on download here to download your ISO. And once you're done, let's go to VirtualBox and we make a new machine. We call it Solus. It's not Solaris type, this is Linux type. And I'll select from the list here, other Linux 64 bits. And I'll bump up the memory here to four gigabytes and click create. I'm gonna create a 128 gigabytes of hard drive and click create again. And I'm gonna tweak some settings here by going to system and bump the processor to two. And display, I'm gonna bump up this to the max and enable 3D acceleration. Under storage, I'm gonna attach the ISO we just downloaded. And under network here, I'm gonna choose the bridged adapter and permissions mode allow all so that I connect to SSH if I need to later. And then I click okay. And now we can start, so let's click start. So it's going to take a moment to boot up in the live installation. And there you go. Now we could play around already with the desktop here, but I want to actually install the system. So I click here where it says launch install OS and I'll select English for language. And I have to move the window a little bit so that I can see the buttons and I click next. And I click find my location automatically and click next. And that's correct, so it moves automatically on. My keyboard is the German Swiss keyboard, so I just click next. And my time zone is also correct, so I just click next. And automatically partition the disk, yes, so I'll accept the default here. And I don't wanna use LVM for this demo, so I'll just go ahead and click next. And my host name in this case is gonna be Solus. And I want to install the bootloader, yes, so I'll just click next and create a new user. So I'll type in my username and my name and choose a password. The box this user should be administrator is already ticked and that's fine. So I'll just click add now. And I could add more users here, but I'm fine with this. So I'll just click next. And this is the summary of all the things we just did. So we just install and accept the changes to install the system. So it's gonna take a moment to install everything and I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is now complete. So we can click on restart now. It's gonna take a moment to reboot the machine. And I'll just hit the up arrow here. I wanna to go to this screen and actually go to devices and remove the disk. Otherwise we'll boot again in the live installation. So I'll click force unmount. And then I go to machine and click reset. And now we'll boot into the system that we installed. So this is the grab bootloader, so just hit enter. And we are greeted by the login, so we'll just type in the password. And there you go. So the guest additions are actually already installed in Solus. However, if I click on the view menu here, we see that actually they are not active. And the problem here is the graphic driver. So what I wanna do right now is to actually turn off the machine by going here and clicking shutdown. I'm gonna go again under settings here and under display, I'm gonna change the graphics controller to the VBOX SVGA and click okay. And then start again the machine. And again, hit enter. Now again, enter the password and there you go. Now, as you can see, when we click on the view menu, the guest additions are actually indeed active. What it means is that we can actually hit Control F and go full screen. And now we are full screen. However, because I have a 4K screen, everything is very small. So I'll right click on the desktop here and click on displays. And bump up this to 200% and click apply. And I'll keep the configuration. And there you go. This is the Solus desktop. 
So now what we need to do is to update the packages. Now we can do it from the terminal, but I want to show this time how to actually update the packages through the software center. So we'll click here on software center and then click on updates. And as you can see, we have three sections, required updates, security updates, and other updates. So I'm going to click all three of them and hit update selected. And it's going to take a moment to calculate all the updates here before it goes forward. And there you go. Now I can click install. Enter my password. And hit enter. So it's going to take a moment now to download and install everything. So I'll be back when it's done. So there you go, the system is up to date, so we can close this. Now, if we go here on the main menu and we click on budget desktop settings, these are some of the settings you can change in the budget desktop. So we can change, for example, here to go to the default window. And as you can see, everything is lighter in color. Or we can choose actually to go to the Plata and deactivate the dark theme. We can also change the icons and the cursor. Well, in this case here, I have the Advaita, which is fine. And we can control also the desktop. If you want to display desktop icons, the home directory or other things. We have a setting for fonts for the Raven panel, which is the one here on the right side. When you have volume control, music control and notifications. And under Windows here, we can control the Windows behavior. This is a kind of a GNOME tweaks window, if you're familiar with that. And under bottom panel, we can select how we want the bottom panel to appear. If you go under settings, we can choose the position, the bottom or top, left or right. We can choose the size. We can automatically hide it. We can make it transparent. We can apply the shadow and we can enable dock modes, which looks very similar to Mac OS. So Solos comes pre-installed with LibreOffice, as you can see here, and has already some graphic programs as well. As an internet browser, you have Firefox as a standard browser. And if you need our packages, you can easily download them from the software center here by clicking on the software center and searching for packages here directly. Now to show you the GNOME shell here, we'll go on the system settings and go to about. And as you can see here, we are on GNOME 34.1 with the budget desktop. So this is one of the latest builds from GNOME. And if we try, for example, also to change the background picture, as you can see, we have already the new style. So let's select, for example, this one here. And there you go. So this is the installation and quick look of Solus on VirtualBox. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure you like this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. Subscriptions really help us out, guys. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover or you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.